started in us. Complete the work that you started in us, our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you for your Son. We thank you for sending Jesus. We thank you for sending Jesus for our sake, so that we may be born from death to life, Lord. So that we may be born from death to life, our Father. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for having mercy on us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you now, Lord. We pray that you will stir us up, Lord. Stir us up like never before, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you will baptize us in fire, Lord. In Jesus' name, that we may not live in the same way that we have entered here, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, that we will not live the way that we have entered here. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, we give you praise. We give you praise. We say that you are holy. You are the righteous one. You are the great I am. You are the sweet God and you are the lily of the valley. Lord, you make life sweet. You are the sweetness of life, Father. Lord, you are the one who loves us. You are the one who loves us, Lord. You are the great King. You are my Father. You are our Father. For we belong to you. And you belong to us. We love you. We love you. We love you and we give you thanks once again. We can never be too grateful. Lord, even our lives are not enough. The least we can do, our Father, is give our lives to you. The least we can do is lay our lives down and pray that nations encounter you because of this. Pray that nations encounter you, Lord. I pray for a timeless impact, Lord. That every single person in this place will go out and impact nations. Impact nations, Lord. Impact nations. Lord, you are uniting families in this season. In a mind of Asia, Toshka, Tamadea. In a Bakua. Thank you for a fresh anointing. Thank you for a fresh anointing, Lord, that we are entering this new year in power. We are entering this new year in power by your Spirit. Not by might, Lord, not by power, Lord, but by your Spirit. By your Spirit, Lord, no other way but by your Spirit. We bless your name. We bless your name, Lord, for you are great. You are mighty, Lord. You are mighty. You are the one who heals. You are the one who delivers. You are the one who sets free, Lord. You are the one who keeps us safe, O oh God. You are the one who keeps us safe, our oh Father. You are the one who protects us, Lord God, from all those attacks, Lord God. You are the one who has kept us, Lord. You brought us, oh God. You brought us, Lord God. You brought us to this place. We give you praise today. We give you praise today, Lord God. We give you praise, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we lift our eyes to you. We lift our eyes to you and we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you, Lord. Now we pray, Lord God, that you will give us our whole hearts. Give us humble hearts as we go into this new year. Give us a humble heart, Lord. And the perseverance to go on, Lord. The perseverance to go on, Lord God. To go on another year strong in you, Lord. Strong in you, our Father. That we will walk out your perfect will, Lord, and your perfect plan for our lives. In the name of Jesus.
knew your purpose and your plan as well. This night, we've come for a word, Lord. In this name. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody. This is Jeff, our hand of the people's tonight.
It is time to get up and do the work of the Lord. It is time to get up and do the work of ministry. 
The point I want to say to you tonight, God supports the believer, but it's the believer's responsibility to do what he has been called by God to do. So in other words, we just read the scripture that says, for it is not in your own strength, okay? So if you want to see God's accomplishment in your life, amen, you cannot do it on your own strength. Amen. amen. How are you going to do it? By partnering with the Holy Spirit. That's the key for 2022, is partnering with the Holy Spirit. Amen. The next key is total obedience. The Lord gave me a strategy, and the word is called HALT, H-O-L-T, HALT. In other words, the strategy is to hear, the strategy is to obey, the strategy is to listen, and the strategy is to trust. I'm going to say it again, because some of us say, God, it's my young accomplishment, amen. Strategy. Number one, you gotta hear God. Number two, you gotta do what? Obey God. Total obedience, prompt obedience, okay? Number three, you have to listen to His voice. Why? Because you cannot do it on your own. Praise God. And number four, you gotta trust God. You gotta trust the Holy Spirit. You can't trust men, you can't trust people, okay? So now it is time in this season and in this new era, it's a season of caution. It's to tell people, halt. Caution. Don't do things on your own understanding. Don't do things without God. Don't run ahead of God. Don't run before God. Don't do things without God. Partner with God. Partner with the Word of God. Amen? And partner with the Holy Spirit. That is strategy. Okay? So if you want to see accomplishments in your life, and then the accomplishment of what God has in store for you, I've got to follow the keys of strategy. Amen. Remember when God told the children, Amen, He says, walk around the, the, the walk of Jericho seven times. He gave them strategy. And on the seventh time, what happened? The walls came down. Why? He gave them strategy to praise and worship God, and then and walk around seven times. And some of us, we want a quick fix. Let me tell you, in this new season, in this new era, there is no quick fix blessings. There's no microwave blessings. No. There's no shortcut to blessings. It's either you in or you out. Amen. This is the time where you've got to really get right with God. Praise God. This is a season of 2022. What's going to allow people to accomplish things in this life? Can I tell you what? It's going to be people who are purpose-driven. Amen. Come on, somebody. So God is looking for what? Purpose-driven people in the year of 2022. Amen. People that are on purpose. People that have purpose. People that are with purpose. So in this new era, you have to connect with purpose-driven people. Don't connect with people that are going nowhere. But if you don't know where you're going, then you're going to connect with those who don't know where they're going. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so what we have to do, as I said, halt. Yeah, God. Yeah, what God has to say. Yeah, what the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah, Him and obey Him. And listen to Him. He says, my sheep know my voice. He says in Revelation 2 verse 29. Amen. He says, he says, the word of the Lord is speaking to the church. Let him who has an ear hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. And God is speaking to us. And let me say this, not in your own strength. Amen. Praise God. 
that's what you want? Amen. Halt. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If we look at Daniel's story, the Bible says, in Daniel's story, the Lord through an angel addressed him as a man greatly beloved. In Daniel 10 verse 11. So the more you hear about and are confident in his love for you, the more you will live life with boldness and a different excellent spirit that sets you apart from others and that testifies of his power in your life. What am I saying, beloved of God? In this year of, 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 of the year of accomplishments, hallelujah, two things I want to make you, I want to point out tonight. Number one, amen, be in a position of great expectation. The word is great expectation, right? That's what God is saying, right? Be in a position of great expectation, right? Amen, amen. Great expectation is the birthday fault of your faith. Right? Praise God. What is expectation? Expectation, amen, is, is, is your expectations or your strongholds or your beliefs that something will happen or that you will get something that you want. In other words, in my year of 2022, I don't want anything else except what God wants for me. Amen. Come on, somebody. It's all going to be great expectation because my wanting is from God. And in my wanting, I also got to give. Amen. I've got to give. Amen. A life total obedience to God. A life of listening to God. Obeying God. Trusting God. Amen. I've got to give. Praise God. What is the word great means? The word great means, it means a large in amount or a degree. So in other words, what God is about to do, amen, the Bible, and I said this word out this week, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered into the heart of man what God wants to do in store for who? The remnant, the ecclesia, the believers, the ones that are crying out to God, the ones that are walking in total obedience to God and His word. Hallelujah. You want to receive restoration? You want to receive double honor? You want to receive restitution and compensation? Amen. From God. Halt. Yeah, God. Yeah, what the Holy Spirit is saying. Obey the Holy Spirit. Listen to the Holy Spirit. He says, my sheep know my voice. And he says, I know them. This is not a time for you to depend and look uh, to your own understanding. This is not a time to look for opinions. This is not a time to run around to, to people to hear what you want to hear from people. This is a time when you can only just hear what God has to say. Expectation also, also means it's an act or a state of expecting. It is also a state of anticipation. In other words, I'm excited what God's about to do. No matter what storms are coming my way in this year, but I know even if the attacks might come my way, but I'm not going to allow that to toss me to and fro. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 7, he who hears the word of the Lord and does what God tells him to do, he's a man that builds his house upon the rock. So when the storms of life come, you are not tossed to and fro, but he who hears the word and does not Listen, does not apply, does not obey, is a man who built his house upon the sand. That when the storms of life come against you, you will be washed over. Amen. And I'm saying to you today, you've got to build your life on the word of God. You've got to come into order with God's word. You've got to come into alignment with God's word. Hallelujah. And then you will see, amen, the anticipation. Amen. In other words, Ephesians 3 verse 20 comes in now. That God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ever think or imagine of. This is the word of the Lord to you and I. Praise God. Amen. Even though a woman is about to give birth through the pain and she's complaining about the pain, but that does not deteriorate the, the, the hope that she has, the anticipation that she has, because why she knows she is in a position of expecting. Amen. It doesn't matter how much pain you might go through, but I'm in a position. 2022 year, this is a year of giving birth. Amen. Amen. Of giving birth. You might went through pain. We might have went through so much pain. But this is a year where we are giving birth. Where we're going to see the church of the living God arise in the season. Where we're going to see the remnants arise. The ecclesia arise. Where we're going to see uh, the true sons of God according to Romans 8 verse 19. We're going to see them arise in the season and go for the demonstration. 
in the natural. Amen. But don't let that push you. Don't let that overthrow you. Let that make you stronger. Let your 2022 year be that whatever I might face, that I will live above what I face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to take you through some things, but he's going to take you not just to get you out, but he's going to take you through some things to teach you to live above. Amen. And as you come to the place of living above what you're going to go through, he's going to take you through. Hallelujah. Is this helping you? Amen. Is this helping you? Amen. How many of you expecting? How many of you in a position of anticipation? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Bible says in Philippians 1 verse 20, Paul never expected to be in a great place or to be well right. His only expectation was that Christ will be magnified through him. He wasn't disappointed. If our expectation, watch this, is to make Christ visible to those around us regardless of where we are or who we are with, we will find those expectations met and even exceeded. Christ must be magnified in your year of 2020. Amen. Let me tell you who must be first on your list. God must be first priority. See, yay, first the kingdom. Matthew 6 verse 30. This is what you need to do. See, yay, first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. In other words, be in a position of prostrateness before God, seeking God day and night, meditating the word day and night, and be in a position of where you are walking in righteousness at right standing. Amen. Then you will see great things happen in your life. You will see the fulfillment of God's accomplishments in your life. Hallelujah. Is it helping somebody? Amen. Okay, praise God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, my Jesus. Number two. Not only are we going to receive great expectation. Now, it's to the remnant. Number two, what's going to happen? We're going to receive great expectations, as I said. Number two, the next word is we're going to do great exploits. Great Exploits. Very important that you take these words down because this this must be this must be your journal for 2022 to meditate day and night. Okay, great exploits. Do you believe that? Amen. What does the word exploit mean? It means to make productive use. <laughs> to make productive use. Okay. Utilize exploiting your talents, exploit your opponent's weaknesses. To make use of meaningly or unfairly for one's own advantage, exploiting migrant farm workers, okay? That's what it means. But the word I want to leave for you to make productive use. Right? The Bible says in the book of Daniel 11 verse 32, And such a violence, the covenant he shall pervert and seduce with flatness, but the people who know they are God. In this season of the accomplishments in your life is to the people who know they are God. Amen. Not to know the church, who know the denomination, who know when we're gonna sing, when we're gonna sing, what song we're gonna sing. No, no, who know they are God. The Bible said, who know they are God. Amen. The Bible says, who know they are God shall prove themselves strong and shall stand firm and do exploits for God. You're going to do exploits for the Lord in your year of 2022. But you need to be purpose driven. You need to be willing and obedient. Stop sitting on the fence. Amen. Time to get up and do the work of the Lord. you got to do great exploits for the Lord. Do you understand what God is saying? Okay, so the Bible is the Bible is saying to us according to Proverbs 16 verse 3, roll your works upon the Lord. In other words, commit and trust them wholly to God. He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to his will. In other words, we've got to come to alignment to God's work in 2022. Amen. In other words, we cannot do it far away from God. Yeah. God wants us to partner with him, right? Okay? And so shall your plans be established and succeed when you come to alignment and agreement to the word of God. Why? The Bible says in Amos 3 verse 3, how can two people walk together? 
together unless they are in agreement. Let me tell you, you will not make it if you are not in alignment to God and you are not in agreement to His Word. Stop walking with people who are in disagreement to God's Word. Amen. Stop moving with the crowd who agree with you and disagree with the Word. Number, number two, Psalms 138 verse 8, the Bible says, The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure it forever. Forsake not the works of thine hands. Don't forsake the works of thine hands. Don't forsake the works. What works? Great exploits. In other words, the temperature level of your spiritual life has to intensify. Amen. You have to increase your prayer time. You have to get out of your comfort zone and do much more for God. Do things you thought you could not do for God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is not a time to be sitting down. This is a time to get up and do what God has called you to do. This is a time for you and I to be, to be rooted and grounded in Christ. We have to be rooted our entire being as family and deeply be planted, be fixed in Christ. Amen. So that we are not moved by the storms of life. We have to become more, increasingly more confirmed and established in the faith. Just as we were taught many, many of times. Abounding and overflowing in with thanksgiving. We got to come to a place where we live in union with God. I'm excited for great expectations. And I'm excited to do great exploits for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. This is why God says the word to the church in closing. I'm just releasing what I need to release. In closing, he says in Revelation 4 verse 1, After this I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in Heaven. You see this door that's open from heaven, no man can shut the door yes. that God is opening in your year of 2020. Is this confirming some things to you? Amen. Glory to God. Okay? So he says, and after this I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven. And a voice I heard speaking to me like a trumpet and said, Come up here. In other words, God is saying to us as a church of God, we got to come up higher. In other words, walk in the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Spend more time with, the, with God. Spend more time with the presence of God. Spend more time with Holy Spirit. Praise God. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Amen. Come up here and I will show you what must take place after this. There is an after. If you did not hear it, I'm telling you, there is an after this. Amen. There is an after this. 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 Don't worry about COVID. There is an after this COVID. There's other things that's going to happen. Oh. Oh. There's other things that's going to happen. And God is saying, come up higher so I can show you what's about to happen. I want to, I want to pre-warn you of danger. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So you got to come up higher so that you hear God accurately. Amen. Because some of our ears are down. It's full of wax. <laughs> and you can't take your ear back to clean that. Your, your, ear, your spiritual ears must be open. You understand what I'm saying? Your spiritual eyesight must be open. Don't be deceived. The Bible says don't become ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. I said to the family this afternoon when I was doing the conducting the funeral, I said to them, don't take people with you who don't want to. Don't take people into 2022 who don't want to go with you. Don't force relationships, okay? Don't take people to a place where you don't know where you're going. Amen. This is a time where you've got to get yourself through the eye of the needle first. Amen. Am I helping somebody? Amen. Am I helping somebody? Amen. I don't want to know who's your trophy. I want to know who's your partner. Is your partner the Holy Spirit? Then I want to hold your hand and I want to say, let's go together because I know the Holy Spirit said, I never leave you. I never forsake you. I never abandon you. I never forsake you. My trophy. 
will leave you. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Amen. Am I going to help you, somebody? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he says, come up, and I will show you what, what must take place after this. There is an after this. I'm going to say it very carefully. There is an after this. Amen. In other words, I am warning you. What am I saying to you, beloved of God? Don't be caught of God in this season. Mm. Let me also tell you, the men and women of God, leadership are coming under great attack like you will not believe. Mm. I was talking to many leaders this week, and they are just, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Death was just knocking on my door. Death was just knocking on my door. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Leaders are going through financial problems, marital problems, problems all around. And this is where we got to stand as the church of God in unity Amen. and become our brother's keeper. Hallelujah. And don't uncover our brother's nakedness. Don't uncover your family's nakedness. Don't uncover your leadership's nakedness. But pray for them. Walk in unity. Don't be critical. Amen. In other words, don't criticize. Amen. Can I tell you, criticizing is sin. Can I tell you, gossiping is sin. Be the word of God. All right. So, in other words, all of that is sinning. Am I right? Amen. If we say we're children of God, then we gotta act like Him, talk like Him, dress like Him. Walk like him, behave like him, look like him, amen. Because when people come into the house of the Lord, they need to see God in this house. Amen. They must not see the world in the house of God. Amen. Otherwise, they're not going to change. This is also a time for change. Are you happy that you're going to make it God willing after midnight, one minute past midnight? Are you happy because you just, oh, I step into 2022. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Are you happy just because of that? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. But if you don't have strategy, you don't have wisdom, you don't have direction, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. The Bible says, when there's no vision, my people perish. Can I give you the true understanding of the scripture? Number one, it says, when my people, uh, when there's no vision, my people perish. Now, what vision is it talking about? There's two things. Number one, vision of God and vision of the word of God. So, you have to come to this place that God is calling us as the church of God to come to a place to get to know him more. The apostle Paul said, I want to know God more. This is a time knowing God, knowing the God of the Bible. Hallelujah. Not knowing the God of some storytelling, or knowing the God of some westernized Christianity nonsense. Worrying about who is black or white. That's not my concern. Know God as your Lord and your Savior. Know God as your Creator. Know God as your Sovereign God. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? No God, Paul says, I want to know him. Amen. Some of us, we get to know church so much. When to sit, when to talk, when to get up, when to lie down. We know so much. <laughs> who's going to sing, who's not going to sing? Oh, this one this one doesn't sing. Worship was not nice because so-and-so was not there. When I mean, this one's there, worship's like this. And <laughs> We know so much about everything else. We know so much about people's business. But we don't know about God. We know the miracles of God. We know the demonstration of God. The children of Israel knew what God was able to do in the wilderness. They knew that God was able to part the Red Sea. God could bring manna from heaven. They knew that God, but they did not know God because they were always looking to Moses. Moses, what is going on when they came and they were thirsty? There was no water to drink. They did not realize the same God that brought them through the Red Sea was the same God leave them facing a mountain. My God, my God, how many of us have forsook God? Amen. And only want to know God when we get the miracle, when we get the breakthrough, when we get the bonus, when we get the income.
increase. When we get all of that, oh God is good, eh? God is awesome, eh? But when you go into the valleys, uh, eh, that God, that, that, that you say God was good, uh, is now God, where are you? God, don't you see me? God, don't you? Do you know God? Amen. Your valleys that you're going to go through in this season, your valleys are not meant for you to lie down and sleep. Your valleys are meant for you to go through. Amen. Go through your pain. Go through your morning. Go through your hurt. Go through your struggle. Go through this in a time to push through. Amen. Push through the pressures of life. Amen. Push through your hurt. Push through your pain. Push through your 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 your, your place of where you are about to, to, to give birth. But watch this. You can only give birth if you know that you are in a place that you are conceived. Because you can't say I'm going to give birth and there's nothing. Amen. So what am I conceiving with me? Purpose. Destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You're going to fulfill what God wants you to do in this year. Praise God. Hallelujah. Stop doing things to please people. Can I say that? Stop doing things to please people, even your partners. <laughs> Am I right? Amen. But who we got to please? God. Amen. I said, who we got to please? God. Who we got to please? God. Who we got to seek first? God. Who must be first priority in our lives? God. Is this helping you? Amen. Is this helping all of you? Amen. Amen. Come up higher. In other words, come up higher to a higher perspective. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, since you've been risen with Christ, seek those things above and not seek those things up and not okay, okay. So it doesn't matter, oh, I didn't feel right because I was not in church at 12 o'clock midnight and God is not going to bless me, don't feel right. If you miss what God said, standing one minute past 12 in the church, But you just want to say, Lord, I'm here, where are you? In the building. But you're not in Him. Paul says, in Him I live, in Him I move, in Him I have my being. There's life in Christ. Amen. Am I helping somebody? Come up higher. Come out of the church religion. Come out of the church tradition. Come out of the church culture. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I said glory to God. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So come up to a higher perspective. Right? Okay? Don't see things just through your human vision. But from God's standpoint. The essence of the verse above in Revelation 4 verse 1 and 2 is come up higher. In other words, Raise your sight heavenward and develop high expectations. Do you want low expectations? Do you serve a small car? No, no. Oh God, just bless me with this so I can just make it. No, I don't want to make it. I want to live in the overflow. Come on, somebody. I don't want to just make it. I want to live in the overflow. And that, this is my year of divine accomplishments. In other words, this is my year of good accomplishments in my life. was a pre-known plan. Amen. That's what the Bible said. It was a pre-known plan. In other words, it was predestined before your parents even thought of you. And before their parents even thought of them. And before their parents even thought of them and them and them. It was a pre-known plan. Amen. Before the foundations of the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want, I want God's accomplishment in my life. Hallelujah. Am I helping somebody? Amen. A lot of times people can have so much accomplishment. I want to get a doctor degree. I want to get this car, get this house. And you get that and still you are empty. Still you are miserable. Still you are full of hatred and unforgiveness. Oh, I want to be a millionaire. My Jesus, help me more than that. I want to know God more. I want to have a relationship with God. I want what God wants for me. Amen. Because then I know I am peace. I have joy, I have happiness, 
and I have wisdom Amen. to manage what God gives me. Amen. If I literally had to give you a million right now, some of you will not have wisdom to manage it. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. But what I'm saying to you, beloved, as it is said, I love to say that, as it is said, there's much wealth and riches in the earth for the children of God. Amen. Can I say that again? There's much wealth and riches in the earth. Amen. For who? The children of God. For who? The remnant. Amen. Amen. And what we gotta do? Call it forth. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor, call it forth. Call it forth. Amen. Don't be afraid to decree and declare. Amen. The Bible says in Job 20 to 28. If thou shalt decree a thing, it shall be established, and the favor of the Lord will shine upon that which you decree. Amen. So tell your neighbor, say something. <laughs> Why? God is able. Don't limit what God can do in your life. This is a season of accomplishment. I dare you to believe God. I dare you to trust God. I dare you to be in great expectation for things that your mind cannot even comprehend. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no has entered into the heart of man what God is about to do. Are you in a position of doing great exploits for God? Oh, I can't preach. Oh, I can't pray. But this year, no, I'm going to stand and pray. When the apostle gives me the mic, I'm going to pray. Amen. I'm going to preach when he tells me to preach. I'm going to go and lay my hands on the sick. And I'm going to lay my hands on the sick. And they shall be they shall be healed. COVID, amen. Will not have power over me. I pray for them and they shall be delivered. Who am I talking to tonight? You will walk in the demonstration of the power and the anointing and the glory of God. Hallelujah. You don't have to wait for me. You can go and do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us don't even realize what we have on the inside of us. Praise God. Amen. What we have to do is raise the temperature. How do we do that? Spend more time in His presence. Can I help you with that? Amen. Spend more time. Go deeper. That's what He wants. He wants us to go deeper, deeper and He wants us to go higher. Amen. Tell your neighbor, deeper, deeper. Higher. higher. Deeper, deeper. Higher. 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 Okay, deeper, higher in intimacy with Him. That I don't just know him on a Sunday or on a prayer meeting on a Wednesday. I know him beyond that. Amen. Am I helping somebody? Amen. Is this helping you? Amen. Beloved of God, let's examine areas in our lives. Let us examine. Don't point fingers at people. Let us examine. You take introspect for yourself. Can I tell you that? You don't search your heart before you enter 2022. You ask the Holy Spirit to search your heart. Hallelujah. I said to someone, uh, uh, I know this will help somebody, okay? I said to someone uh, this morning, I said, as we get ready to go into 2022, can I help you? Release 2021. What do I mean? Release even those things that is unresolved. Amen. Release it to God. So you're not taking that into 2022, you released it to God, you placed it at his feet, and you don't take it away from him. Amen. Does that help somebody? Amen. Okay? Okay? It doesn't mean the situation is not dealt with. It doesn't mean that, that you must carry it now with you. No, no. I leave it there. The Bible says, forget not the former things. The Bible says, we're going to leave the past behind and we're going to move forward. Remember I said to me, uh, a week or two weeks ago, we're going to end off strong and I'm ending off strong. I don't know about you, and I'm beginning strong. Amen. Why? I'm moving forward with God. Am I right? Amen. Let me tell you, people that don't move forward with God, they have a major struggle. Strife. Because they want to do things without God. Let me tell you, you cannot be too clever for God. Amen. You cannot try and outsmart God. Amen. The Bible says God cannot be mocked. Amen. Whatever you sow, Galatians chapter 6, is what you will, is what you will, is what you will, is what you sow. So also you got to know what you sow. Can I give you a key for that? Sow good seeds. Amen. 
You want to see one of this happening in your life? It's going to require sowing, prayer, fasting, intense increase in worship, spending time with God, and then sowing in the kingdom of God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So desire more of God in our lives, but too often fail to receive it. Why do we fail to receive it? Why? Why do we fail to receive it? Because we don't know about it. Let's have a desire to have a vision of God and His Word. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Have that desire. Praise God. And the Bible says, and I pray, may the scripture stimulate us to believe for the blessing of the Lord in far greater measure than we have in the past. I'm ready for what God wants to do. Beloved of God, desire to see God kind of miracles and breakthroughs in your life. That's my prayer. Father, I want God kind of miracles and breakthroughs in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy that over you now. I decree and I declare. May you may you desire to seek God, to seek Him above your tradition and religion and culture, above the place of comfortableness. And may you encounter God kind of miracles and breakthroughs in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Beloved of God, this is a time and a season to know God as a covenant keeping God. Why? God cannot lie. Take God at his word. God cannot break covenant. So you don't break covenant with God. In other words, you don't break your covenant relationship with God. Amen. Don't really want to know God when things are bad. Am I helping somebody? Am I helping somebody? Don't want really to know God in Easter time. Don't want really to know God in Christmas time. Don't want really to know God in New Year's Eve. And after that, don't know God. Right? Alright? Amen? <laughs> know God. Know God. Right? Praise God. Be after God's own heart. Even if you might have made some mistakes in your life. 2021, you've made some mistakes. You've made some bad choices. But I want to say to you tonight, you are an advocate of the Father. Amen. That you can come before the Father tonight as we close it. And ask God to confess. Confess to Him. Repent. Give Him your life. Amen. And ask Him to give you wisdom to go forward and build. May you walk in 2022 with the fear of God. Amen. Stop taking God like a joke. Walk in the fear of the Lord. Because the coming of the Lord is so. Amen. I said the coming of the Lord is soon. Yes. Praise God. But let me also tell you. Let me also tell you. This is a time of preparation. In other words, to prepare yourself. What are you preparing yourself? To meet your Lord Amen. and your Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Come truly to know the Lord's love for you. Amen. Embrace it. Into your heart and soul, his love will make you strong and cause you to do great exploits. Yes, amen. When you know how much God loves you, you will bring down the giants in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And your life will testify of his goodness and of his glory. In Jesus' mighty name, if you are blessed with the word of the Lord, give him a shout of praise. That's the way it is. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. Can I have a bit of volume on the instrumental in the background? Just put the volume on this one. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. Are you blessed?